start by welcoming everyone to this presentation. Who am I? My name is Rick Anderson. I'm the founder and CEO of We Envision IT. What makes me an expert? I have been in the IT business for over 25 years. Today we will take a look at removing semantic programs from a Macintosh. And for that, we will use a tool that they have developed called Remove Semantic Mac Files. It's a removal utilities. How did this video get into works? Very simple. It started that I installed a program called Semantic Endpoint. It is their virus program. What happened is that after the license was expiring, I wanted to uninstall it and thereby some issues turned up. What happened is that I tried to use the uninstall tool that comes with Semantic, but it didn't work. I tried other things to remove the last leftovers of the program or the app, but that didn't work either. So I had to figure out how do I get the last thing removed of the semantic endpoint. And that's what the video is about because I have a feeling that there are people out there who has the same problem as I. So why don't we go in with no further explanation and see a video I created in regards to this issue. Take a look. Okay, let's take a look at how you remove semantic files from your Mac. And here's the problem. The problem was that I had semantic endpoint installed on my computer. I went in and used the uninstall that was in the semantic directory and I run the uninstall semantic. Then I rebooted the machine and what happened was that I still get messages in regards to semantic endpoint where it says that I cannot update the semantic program. The reason is that it's missing. And up here, when I'm up running, you can see that I still have leftovers from the semantic part here. But when I start starting some of this off, there is nothing starting up because a lot of the stuff has been removed when I run the uninstall semantic. So what I did was that I went in and said, okay, let me check it out. Let me go in and use the finder. And let me go in and look under apps in here and see if I can find if there's anything left in here. So I go down to first look under N as Norton. And when I go down and do that under N, you can see there is no Norton down here. No Norton. So I said, okay, perhaps there's under the folder semantic. So I go down to S semantic. And when I look here down here, there is no semantic. You can see down here, there is no semantic folder. So that couldn't be it either. So there shouldn't be any folder folders in here, so it would be somewhere else. Then I use another program that I will recommend, very good program, it's called Clean My Mac 2. That program has a feature called uninstall, and that uninstaller helps me in many cases. So I went in here and I didn't use the uninstaller because I used the uninstall program that came with Semantic. I should have perhaps used this part here where it says uninstaller. You have three options. You have applications, leftovers and unsupported. What it means is that application is what you have right now on your system, what this program can find. All these apps you have and these I can help you remove. Then you have the leftovers. That is if you have removed an app like I just did with the uninstall program that came with semantic endpoint, then if it didn't remove all of it, you can go in here and say, if there's any leftovers, hey, you can do it now. But as you can see in here, these two are the only leftovers the system can find or that clean my Mac can find, and there's nothing related to the semantic endpoint. Then you have the last point is unsupported applications. And that means that if you ever upgraded from one operation system to another, like if you went from Snow Leopard to Lion or Lion Mountain Lion or what you did, perhaps there is some programs that's not compatible with the new operation system. You are still able to go in and remove them. But you can see here there is no semantic in here either. There is some old programs that's not compatible with Lion as I have here on my machine, but it doesn't show up here in regards to the semantic endpoint. So when I go over here in regards to the app here, you can see it says that I have 299. And if you go down the list here and you go through them, I have been through it a few times. There is nothing that refers to the program semantic endpoint. So I can't use this program either because I can't see the files that still exist because else they will not show up here when you start it up. 
what I then did was that I said, okay, I will go in and use the internet and I will go in and see what Symantec has to say about it. And you can see here, I logged into Symantec. I wrote in the search, remove Symantec programs from Macintosh. And you can see what came up here. There is issues in regards to that not everything get removed when it happens. So you are able to download a program here called remove Symantec Mac files .zip, And that should do the thing. So you get a link here from an FTP site. So I clicked on it and downloaded it and let's go in and take a look at it so i downloaded the file here remove semantic mac file dot zip then i unzipped it and then in here you can see there is the file called remove semantic mac file command and then there is a readme file and you just have to execute this file and you can see here everything that it will do when it does it and what it does is that it goes in and use the terminal to do it terminal is like the command prompt in windows so let's go in and take a look at that and open the window for this you can see here and what it does is that when it starts up first of all it locks in where you have to put in the password for the system in my case I'm logged in as user so and so and then I have to put the password in and of course I have to have administrative privileges then it went down and say okay do you want to remove all semantic file and folders or do you want to quit and of course I want to remove them and then you can see here is a list of the things that it removed and then it is waiting for me right now you should restart the computer to get the semantic to proceed and do the rest. And that's what I want to do. But then I have to end the movie as we see it right now, because as soon as I start running it, it will reboot the system and the movie will not longer exist. So I will stop the movie now and then I'll show you what happens after that. So I'll go in here and say stop recording. And then when I have rebooted the system, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. The computer rebooted as it was advertised down here that if you said yes, it will reboot down here warning remove use blah, 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 it will do it the computer rebooted what is nice to tell you is that it worked it really worked I didn't get any error message when I started up the computer in regards to the semantic endpoint when I go up here there is no semantic endpoint there is none so this program here remove semantic Mac files really works so the recipe is go to semantics website go in and search on remove semantic Mac files you go in and download the files you unzip it and you run it then you reboot the computer and you should be all ready to go so that's the way i went by it and i can only recommend it it really worked so what i have learned by this experience is that clean my mac what i should have done is that instead of running the uninstall from semantic directly i should have gone in here and run semantic uninstall from here because what happens is that the clean my mac 2 will monitor the progress in regards to the removal and then it will go in and double check i can't say that it would have figured out to find these files we just removed with the program that i just mentioned but it's definitely a possibility. I still love Clean My Mac because it has helped me so many times. In this case, it didn't do it, but I must admit I didn't do it exactly as I normally do. What I did was that I went in and launched uninstall from Semantic directly, and that didn't seem to work. I don't know if it had worked from in here, but next time I'll try that. But one thing is sure, we got the problem resolved, but Clean My Mac is definitely a program I will continue using. It has helped me so many times. Love.